Okay, so to answer these questions, um, for this training course, there are three key takeaways that I would like for you to bring with you um, after this webinar. So the first of which is, uh, we hope that you'd be um, more familiar with the different parts of a research proposal, each part's purpose, and um, es uh, the essential information that uh, you should include in, in, in those specific um, components. Uh, secondly, we'll provide tips and best practices in terms of like how you can make your research proposal as convincing as possible. And then um, for the benefit of our teachers and students, uh, I will also be uh, introducing to you the concepts of research project planning and management. And to make this experience uh, more relatable, um, we will be providing like specific examples framed around the concept of developing a research project that involves um, the synthesis of gold nanoparticles for a specific application. And for the benefit of those who have actually not attended our previous seminar, this is the exact same case study that I use for our training course on the design of experiments. So, gagawin po namin, thematic po ito. So, lahat na po ng mga training courses namin, uh, we will try to make use of one um, specific example just to make sure that you know you can visualize um, how a concept can be developed from um, ideation all the way up to um, data processing and science communication but um, allow me to qualify po, uh, that this specific key study that we are uh, providing here just for the purpose of exemplification uh, this is a hypothetical case study po. so i uh, don't, don't don't so don't take this example as though i'm giving you a specific uh, topic to work on because ito po ay uh, for for demonstration purposes lamang okay so the first part of research proposal is the proposal title so or you should be able to compose a proposal title effectively because this is the very first component of the research proposal that the research funding agencies or the reviewers will read. So kapag medyo mababa po yung quality ng inyong title, they might just lose interest to, you know, uh, read further into your proposal or, you know, they, they might end up be becoming or they might end up becoming negatively biased towards the idea because medyo laglag na yung simula. And so, what are the qualities of an effective proposal title? So, it should very well represent the proposed idea. Um, it should be catchy and it should be uh, concise. So, kailangan hindi po to kayo hihingalin um, sa pagbabasa ng title kasi sobrang haba niya. So, this is an example of a concise and catchy title that you can use uh, for a research proposal. So yung idea po natin is that uh, we are developing size control and size uniform nanoparticles um, in a cost-efficient manner uh, in order um, to produce materials that can be used as anti-cancer agents. So how can you write up um, a what would make for uh, a catchy or interesting proposal title? So this is what something that I can provide as an example. So cost-effective synthesis of size uniform gold nanoparticles for anti-cancer application. So kung hihimay-himayin nyo, if you're gonna look at the anatomy of this title, so you have the catchphrases, cost effective. So that's attention catching because that means that you're trying to improve the cost of this material. You have the uh, catchphrase, size uniform gold particle. So um, size uniformity, um, it is uh, a very important um, property of gold nanoparticles so instead of having random sizes um, you're trying to find ways to just make one particular uh, size of a material and then lastly for anti-cancer application so you you have the proposed ideas the proposed quality of the materials in terms of cost and size and then the purpose for which you're making them so you're making them to make um, uh, anti-cancer drugs so you know so with just how many words are there here about like about like 10 or less you will have already captured uh the the main concept or you know like the the topic that you are uh proposing for for this project and then so along with the proposal title typically we list down the names of the proponents so who are the authors or who who came up with the idea and it is very important that um we 
list them down. Make it a practice that we identify everyone who contributed to the idea and to the proposal development because that helps in building um, camaraderie and rapport um, within the group and that also have builds um, you know, a sense of community. So, isama nyo teachers, students, collaborators, so whoever contributed ideas, ilagay nyo po dyan. And then along with the name of the author, especially if, if you're working collaboratively with people from different institutions, you know, you also list down like their um, affiliation. So, anong school sila, anong, anong, anong company sila, anong research um, institutions um, they're, they're part with. So, it is very important that you give credit to everyone who contributed to the idea. 